Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. It's not a secret that some people choose to adopt a dog to take it as a practice to raise a child. To do this, you need more than a loyal dog. You need a childlike pup whose world focuses around you, and there's no better fit for this than the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. For this video, we're talking about the main features, traits, and characteristics of this breed. But before we begin, tell us why did you choose to adopt a puppy? Did you specifically want a dog you could pet, or did you have to be forced to pet it at first? Tell us your story, but before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications to see our latest videos in your feed. Without further ado, let's dive in. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are a small, well, spaniel originated from the United Kingdom and are classed as a toy dog by some organisations. Since they appeared, they've been performing the hard task of acting as lap dogs, first for British aristocrats and later for everybody that would adopt them. This breed is simply perfect for being pet and laid down alongside their owner. But don't let this fool you. They will take a roll in the backyard or run up the hills over lazy time on the couch any day. They'll be happy to play with the youngest in the house and with other dogs before lying down. With just a little patience when training, you'll notice these dogs are gentle, sweet and affectionate and very eager to please their human. Cavaliers excel in many canine sports including obedience, rally and agility. As with all breeds, early socialization and puppy training classes will help the young cavalier to learn good manners and be comfortable with a wide variety of people and situations. With their sweet nature, they also make fantastic therapy dogs. Every dog has a catch, and here's the one for this breed. They are extremely dependent. They suffer from separation anxiety after just a few hours alone and will be happier with big families where at least one person is always in the house or with people that work from home. If you exercise them early, they'll leave you in peace to work for some hours, unless they suddenly misread a situation for playtime and then you'll be forced to play for a few minutes. Start training your puppy the day you bring him home. Even at 8 weeks old, he's capable of soaking up everything you can teach him. Don't wait until he's 6 months old to begin training or you'll have a more headstrong dog to deal with. Cavalier temperament ranges from sweet and placid to stubborn. The sweet, placid cavaliers sometimes have a reputation for being dumb, and the stubborn ones for being untrainable, but in general, these dogs are smart and learn quickly. Harsh words will cause them to stop trying or even to hide. They respond well to positive reinforcement techniques, especially when food rewards are offered. They love going for walks, but you have to have a heads up and take them on a leash because any bird, cat, ball or small moving animal or object will take the full attention of your cavalier and will cause them to chase it uncontrollably. That being said, they're not bred to be left outdoors. They are family dogs that need the company and protection of their owners from excessive heat and cold. Although it's classified as a toy breed, the cavalier is at the larger end of the size scale, weighing between 13 to 18 pounds and reaching about 13 inches high. The English Springer Spaniel has a medium length coat that consists of two layers. Together, the two types of fur help to make the coat waterproof and protect the dog from harsh weather and outdoor debris. The fringe-like fur of the ears, chest, legs and stomach is longer than the rest of the coat. A few sites are claiming that they shed a normal amount, but some owners affirm cavaliers shed sometimes a lot and sometimes moderately. They should be brushed three to four times a week. Regular brushing will reduce shedding as well as make the coat softer and cleaner. Cavalier King Charles Spaniels also enjoy a good brushing and consider it bonding time with you and your pet. A cavalier should be fed a high-quality dog food appropriate to the dog's age. Some cavaliers are prone to getting overweight. This makes it very important not only to feed these dogs correctly, but also to monitor them regularly to catch any changes in weight or condition as quickly as possible. If you're training them with treats, go easy on them. Treats can be an important aid in training, but giving too many can cause obesity. Feed them small amounts of boiled liver or chicken cut into small cubes. Some dogs also enjoy small raw carrots for the sweet taste and crunchy texture. Avoid filling cavaliers up with table scraps or foods lacking in nutritional value, since these can cause a dietary imbalance and possibly lead to health problems. Feeding them is pretty standard. While many owners choose to feed their Cavalier King Charles Spaniels dry dog food because it's convenient, affordable and provides complete nutrition, others choose to feed their Cavalier canned food only. If you're going with this option, 
your dog will need about one to one and a half cans per day of a nutritionally complete food. Don't let the funny or cute videos about this breed deceive you. A cute or goofy, obedient and loyal dog is a product of its breeding, background and constant training and early socialization. These dogs can be a handful, so our official recommendation is to adopt one if you are a patient person who's not bothered by having a tail chasing you everywhere you go and have a job that lets you spend most of your time at home with your pet. If you're a person that wants a puppy to cuddle with and also train and exercise with, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is just right for you. That's our video for today. What did you think? Did we miss anything out about this breed? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you in the next video.